The Crest Center for Research and Education in Quantum Leap Science and Technology was founded in the fall of 2021 with an initial $5 million grant from the National Science Foundation and additional funding provided by the Department of Defense and the Department of Energy. The vision of the center is to establish Norfolk State University as an internationally recognized center of excellence in selected areas of quantum science and engineering with the specific goal of becoming a national resource for the education and training of the 21st century quantum workforce with special emphasis on underrepresented students. The center's activities are centered on three complementary areas, which include discovery and synthesis of new quantum materials, fundamental investigation of quantum phenomena and metamaterials useful for sensing and other novel devices, and finally through integration of these new materials and effects into quantum devices fabricated in our state-of-the-art clean room. My name is Ron Delgado, and I'm a graduate student at Norfolk State University. For the past 20 years, topological spin textures and materials have been of interest because of any potential of spin charting applications. The material I'm working with is barium iron gallium oxide. It's been previously reported that spinel structured materials with this so-called stuffed framework have a very interesting ferroelectric properties. So in order to investigate the quantum transport in BFGO, I need to grow single crystals, which I'll be doing with optical floating zone method. And once I have those single crystals, I'll be able to get a good characterization using our 14 Tesla PPMS, which we will be getting installed in the next month. Hi, my name is Jasmine Beckford. I'm a graduate student and a PhD candidate at Norfolk State University. Um, I currently am working on gallium dope zinc oxide for thin films. And my deposition method is pulse laser deposition, which is right here. We study and use this machine for metal oxide. It takes a high intensity laser and it hits our target and it causes our material to deposit onto our substrate and therefore then allows us to do different deposition methods and things like that. Hi, my name is Dr. Makesh Bera. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Center of Material Research. We use our Nano 36 Butter tool, which is a big workhorse for us, producing very thin films of uh, transistors based on aluminum dope zinc oxide, gallium dope zinc oxide, and such. We have also used this for our application in energy efficient smart windows to regulate the temperature inside a room without any power. These have potential energy gains all across the globe if uh, implemented globally, both in the terms of saving our resources as well as our economy. My name is Sean Nesbitt, PhD student in Material Science and Engineering. We fabricate and study materials where uh, plasmonic and magnetic properties are engineered by design. Such systems demonstrate a spin wave resonance and plasmonic resonance determined by nanoscale geometry. They also show coupling of electronic, magnetic, and plasmonic effects, including the possibility to control magnetization with light. This research can lead to new applications in optoelectronics, spintronics, and even data processing at optical speed. The departments of engineering and physics are already partnering to implement a multi-phase approach leading to a new doctoral program in quantum engineering and science. To begin, Norfolk State is collaborating with strategic partners, including Northrop Grumman, Micron, and Sandia National Laboratories to launch a quantum science concentration within our existing Master of Science program in electronics engineering. We therefore have ex established exciting partnerships whereby leading private and public se uh, sector researchers are serving as subject matter experts to design and deliver new and revised quantum engineering curriculum right here at Norfolk State. Our team is also working to establish complementary experiences, such as internships and exchange programs for students and faculty, and to establish seamless pathways from program entry to graduation. We see this as an opportunity to achieve a new paradigm for graduate training and education at NSU, and as a means of making important contributions, or shall we say, a quantum leap in the quantum revolution. The Micron NSU Nanofabrication Clean Room is located within the McDimmon Applied Research Center here at Norfolk State University. The MNNC is a 10,000 square foot, class 100, 1,000 clean room and characterization space. In the last five years and through fruitful partnerships with principals at other schools, our MNNC Clean Room has become a premier training location for graduate and undergraduate students. The MNNC is equipped with state-of-the-art photolithography tooling and capabilities in metallization and thin film deposition, wet and dry etch. You will find tools such as a mask aligner, e-beam evaporator, DC sputtering tools, reactive ion etching. The nano characterization instruments include an ellipsometer, 
scanning electron microscope, and transmission electron microscope. These tools provide characterization capabilities down to the nanoscale, allowing our team to achieve its quantum research objectives. The MNNC is the site of advanced quantum research activities for faculty and the place where NSU principals have delivered innovative instructional programs for veterans, community college partners, K-12 students and teachers, and private sector professionals at the technician or advanced levels. Newly developed virtual and augmented reality tools will be able to enhance our remote and online training programs to help users across the nation and around the world. Doing this work has caused me to discover that I love learning and I'd love to learn more as much as I can about material science and engineering. So I will be pursuing a PhD program in materials and or nanoscience upon my graduation. 21st century quantum science and engineering, inspired by emergent phenomena and new quantum materials, provides a clear path for advances in next generation quantum technology with applications in biomedical, chemical and other sensing devices, new consumer electronics, energy related technologies such as highly efficient solar cells, and quantum computing systems that will lead to paradigm-shifting quantum-based technologies that are unimaginable today.